That's a definitely an uh, interesting perspective to have. Um, that's an interesting perspective to have, man. We're going to have to talk about that more off camera, you Absolutely. know? Absolutely. Right. So, so tell me, um, owner operator versus company driver. What do you think? Like, I mean, I know that, you know, you're more in the, you're in the owner operator type industry now, but company driver pros and cons. What, what do you tell a new guy just starting out or, you know, what do you tell somebody? What advice do you give them? Yeah, well, it's it's definitely uh, more than one school of thought on that subject. You know, there are people, you know, I've always been a person that I cherished my independence. And I've always been a person that I've, I acknowledge this about myself. I have compliance issues. I don't want to hear that. Shit, man. Right. <laughs> right, right. Essentially, I mean, that's just how I've always been. And so right. I, I, that to me is why I lean a little bit more towards the owner operator mm-hmm. side of things. Um, and being and and you know I'm driving for my pop right now, but I'm in the act of getting my own truck. Right, right. Because it's the same thing, you know. I I hear people say, you know, hey man, if you're making good money where you are right now, you know what I mean, driving your pop's truck, you might want to stay there, you know what I mean. But I cherish my independence. I right. really do. I, I cherish my independence. I always, I always have. So, um, I was talking to my brother yesterday, which is an owner operator, been an owner oper- operator for 20 years. And he was telling me, he was like, man, sometimes I'm in a space where I'm envious of those guys that are at UPS, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And they, and they, and they got good paying jobs and they got, you know what I mean? All of the perks of a good paying job. He's like, I'm envious of those guys sometimes. Um, so, I mean, I, to each his own, to each his right. own. I know me personally, like I said, and I, I've only, I'm 45 years old now. Um, I've probably had five years or less worth of jobs in my life, W-2 jobs where I'm working for somebody else. I ain't found one yet that made me happy. I ain't found one yet that made me happy. So I just don't <laughs> think, I, I don't think I would be happy even on a good paying job just because right. I got compliance issues. I, I want to do things my own way. And it ain't that I want to slack off, but you know, the last job that I had, they didn't want no parts of my creativity. They wanted me to show up, do what they said to do, when they said to do it, and then I could go home when they said to go home. That has never, never, never went over well for me. Well, you know what I found is that, like, and this might be some advice that we can give out to the younger people is that if you're an individual like you, because I'm I'm also like that, is that if you're going to go the job route, you really need to aim for a company that is growing, you know, because if that company is growing, they're looking for ideas because, yeah, absolutely. you know, if it's a new industry, let's say like uh, TikTok, let's say if you could have got a job at TikTok, you, they would have cherished you because they would have said, hey, creativity. man, do you have an idea? Right. Do you have an idea for this? Do you have, oh, hey, I got an idea because the company is growing. But what happens is if you work for a company that's been established for a long time, like let's say Honda, they're not taking no risks at that point. They're going to say, hey, we're bringing out this new Honda Accord. And you might say, hey, maybe you should think about this feature. No, 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 no. We've been dropping these Honda Accords for the last 40 years. And this is the way we've done it. And we'll always do it like this. So People like me and you, we don't fit in an environment where people are just trying to manage the company. Like we're just, we're just not trying to bankrupt it. We're just going to maintain the profit. But new, co- and that's how new companies come along. Like Tesla, who come along, and now it's like, oh, this is a problem now in the industry. We got these electric cars, and and you trying to tell me Ford couldn't have done this? Yeah. Yes, they they had the money to do it. Yeah. They had the money to do it. Uh, you know, Lexus, they had, all these companies had the money to do it. And they told him he was crazy, but it takes a creative person. So really with you, you really have to gun for a company that is growing because they, re- they respect and cherish people like us. But if you go to a regular Fortune 500, no, no, they're going to kick you out. They're going to tell you, hey, man, what's wrong we with you? We don't, you need- we, don't, we don't want to hear all those ideas. Man. Right, right. You're a robot. You are paid <laughs> yeah. to be a robot. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. 